Matt Man. It is Stop rare. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. Sorry. Well, Anyways, we want to do a review on of these FNAF toys and the plushies, and I really want to do a little interview. So, t Ryan, go first with yours. Uh, we're gonna start with um, we're gonna start with uh, the keychains. So you can get these at any kind of store, like Walmart, Target, Hot Topic, like or Target, Target as well. Or I think Kmart might sell these, right? No, Kmart right. don't. Okay. Don't go to Kmart. They don't, may only have like posters and little figurines, but that's it. They don't but have anything like you this. You can get these also from Amazon. They sell them off Amazon too, as well. And these cost about like a. No, tell them the whole set. Okay, so what we have here, these are pl plushy, these are like plush, like keychains of Five Nights at Freddy's. We have Freddy, Fred, Freddy Golden Freddy, we Chica, have Chica, Golden Freddy, Bonnie, Bonnie, and of course you're truly Foxy the Pirate. Arr. So you can get these from Amazon or some other store that's out there. Um, just depends how much they will cost. So, um... Yeah, they uh, they would be kind of cool if they had like nightmare versions of these. But I they don't. know that would be so cool. Or like toy versions of them that would be awesome. Oh, they as even well. have flashlights. Everyone should know that. Oh, they now. have flashlights. They have like party supplies. They have and like t-shirts. Your yeah, dad. you can get like you can get like posters of that stuff there too. They even well. have kid t-shirts. Even my nephew's wearing one right now. And don't forget about books too. Got books, well, and also I have also have a T-shirt at home, but I'm not wearing posters, it. posters, don't forget about posters. And posters as well. I have two posters: one for Chase in his room, one downstairs in the play area. And they also have like little Funko, um, little action figures of these. Yeah, these are really cool. But they're like they're, they have one like a balloon boy, but they have like the little cuter versions of them as well. But they still look scary. But there's also one if you get like the Funko Vinny figures, like a Hot Topic, they come like a little small ox. I got like a balloon boy. Those are like one of those uh, figures where you find them in a package and just yeah. see what you get. Yeah, if you get like the same thing, thing, you're kind of screwed with just that one. But if you get the whole set and try to find them all, that works too. But right. still, if you just get one and you already got the same one and you're hoping it's not, oh crap, it's the same one, then you're screwed with it. You don't know what to do with it. You just give it to a friend that might want it or something. Yeah. He wanted a puppet. Yeah, I never got it. Yeah. Well, I was I'm gonna, glad I found this one. He was the last one in Walmart. I was gonna get. Like, <laughs> the, I was gonna get the, like the Foxy little figurine of Balloon Boy. That was like a big old head. I was gonna get him, but I thought it was Foxy, but it wasn't. It turned out to be a Balloon Boy. But oh well. Yeah. I might try some other again some other time. All right. So you want to go for, next? Okay. I have these wonderful toys that I collected. Uh, the first and second wave. That you. This is the first wave right here. And, and when you get the first wave, like, first I had to find all of them, like, Freddy, Chica, sorry, they're falling out. Okay, the first wave, you will know, when you want to build your very own spring trap, is with Chica, Freddy, Golden Freddy, uh, Foxy, and Bonnie. And when you get all five, you combine all the parts that comes with the packages and form the spring trap. Yeah, he, he's pretty. And then where do you get these? Uh, do you get them at like? Oh, okay, the first wave, I got them at GameStop, but they didn't have Foxy when I first went there. And I was kind of screwed until they called another GameStop in Derby, where I hey, can finally get my very own Foxy, and I was glad I got that, and I had enough money to get it, and that was the best birthday present ever. You know, Walmart sells those too as well. Yeah, but like, they, then, they, they don't then, sell that much because yeah, they I always know. go out. It sucks though. So I might take my advice: go to Target and GameStop. They mostly have all that good stuff. And Hot Topic, go there. All right. And here's the second wave. In order to make the puppet, unfortunately, you have to collect all five of the Nightmare versions. In this, this one did, did not make any sense. This one's from FNAF Two. It's, it's either Funtime Fox or fun, or it should be Mangle, but it's supposed but, to be Mangle. But it looks yeah, like Foxy but now. it looks like a Mangle by the head, but everything else looks like Funtime Foxy because it's supposed to be finished or something. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't make a Mangle. I don't know. And when you get all five of the nightmares and of course Funtime Foxy, aka Mangle. The puppet Marion, or the Nightmare Puppet, or something. Yep. Okay, when you first get these, they look like Twizzlers. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
And, yeah, he's really hard to pose. He doesn't have a stand, so you have to stand him, like, close like this. And, yeah. And he has to... Oh, you know what's fun about these figures? I can use them like a dice game that I made up. And it's about. Well, what you have to do in these figures, all you have to do is line them up in their certain positions, and you make a battle. If you pick the highest number, one character loses and the other one wins. It's pretty fun. Really, really fun. Yeah, okay. And oh, moving on. We forgot to mention about um, you can play the games as financial parties. Like oh, this. I played the first one, and just let you guys warn you, there's a lot of jump scares in those games. I mean, it's one of those unexpected jump scares. Dude, huh? I'm pretty sure they already know that. I mean, oh, they're fans of it. Anyways, one more thing. They're going to make a Wave 3 of these figures, and I'm excited to get those. So you can be patient when I get those, okay? Because I'm really excited about them, too. And they're from Sister Location. I can't wait to get... They only sell four of them this time, not five. Because Blora has the two arms with her, and Funtime Freddy and Foxy has the legs, and Baby has Ennard's body and head. And when you get all five, four, you can get your fifth figure and be, make it into Ennard. I can't wait for that. I'm excited. Put it with the collection I have here. Ba-bing, bada-boom, boom, I'll be done. But until they make a way four, I'll be ready for that. So you watch out, FNAF Funkus. I'm coming for you. All right, moving on to the bigger plushies. These are my niece and nephews. They're not mine, but I'm just borrowing them. All I got is just, uh, there's a fifth one I have. It's a Nightmare Freddy, kind of like this one, but like Nightmare Foxy like this. But I couldn't find him anywhere. I know he's in the house somewhere. I just don't know where. But here's the first wave of these characters. You get these. They're so cute. I got right? them from Comic Con for my niece and nephew, and they were excited when they got it. Speaking of which, I got them into FNAF. That was my bad, but they like it. They love it. Even Chase has a my nephew Chase has a FNAF shirt. He saying, has a bag too, doesn't he? A bag? Yeah, does he? No. Oh. He only has a T-shirt. And he says, "I survived from Five Nights at Freddy's." And I, thought I that was have cool. a Five Nights at Freddy's security guard T-shirt, but it's it's blue and has all the has you a, should get a security guard hat. Yeah, I should. And a flashlight. Well, not a flashlight, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, and just to let you know, they have like pins of Five Nights at Freddy's. They have like anything. All, they also have a lot of stuff on GameStop that has like that's Five Nights Five Nights at Freddy's merchandise. Like everything you can get, like T-shirts, plushies, action figures. One of these, I think we probably might sell one of these. Um. They have like flashlight that has like a scary oh, mode on it. We forgot one more thing. What? Costumes. Yeah. There oh, is a oh, lot actually, of wait, hang on, Ann. The costumes that they sell right now are kind of not really good condition. The best way to make a perfect good costume is by making it yourself. Yes. Speaking of my which, fabric. if you go on my Facebook or his Facebook, you can find out how I made my spring trap outfit. It looks freaking awesome. I did a little bit more work on it, but. It looks freaking awesome, man. Even he agrees. Dude, I thought I told you I don't have Facebook anymore. What? Yeah, I deleted it. How'd that happen? Oh, well, I was just getting tired of it, and plus all the drama and bullying, so I got rid of How it. How did you delete yours? I deactivated it and deleted my whole entire um, account. I wasn't useful on YouTube anymore, so I got rid of it. YouTube? No, Facebook. Oh, you said YouTube. Okay. No, I have my. No, YouTube I know, account. I know what you said Facebook, but why Facebook? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't use it either, and it's kind of bullcrap to me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of things you get from games. So you get like all these little merchandise. I find out the phrase they have like T-shirts, um, costumes, pins, masks, costumes, masks, anything, anything oh. merchandise. And if you go system. to Spirit Halloween. Don't get those costumes there. They suck. Yeah, they tend to fall apart, and the masks are kind of crap. -er. Let's just say... Okay, let's just save it for the kids, just in case they don't know how. But for adults like us, make it yourself. Yes, make and it yourself. And do not get the ones that are really expensive, because those could be also a rip-off, too. And kind of cheesy looking. Trust me, if you make it yourself and make it look good and cool, like the other people did in YouTube... 
Like, they can make a Nightmare Freddy, Foxy, or whatever. I don't know anymore! Oh, it's a FNAF FNAF! <laughs> for fiasco, or whatever. Yeah. So anyways, if you want to make your own FNAF costume, you better have the talent. And trust me, you'll be good. And See, everyone will comment. He it. made a Foxy costume one time. Yeah, it was mostly duct tape and <laughs> foil and... Yeah, duct and just tape let and you know, when you wear costumes, they get really, really hot. You need yeah. plenty of water with you. You get dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Like, if yeah, you go to anime be careful festival, what you yeah. wear because they can get really hot and smelly. And trust me, if you don't you want to smell. If you go to like anime festivals or comic cons, anything that's around your area or this area, just bring water and bring something with you to cool yourself up because you get hot real quick. Yeah. Okay, I think that wraps everything up. And as always, this is Matt Matt saying and Rem, Rem saying, saying goodbye and, and have a FNAF time. <laughs>